13-0 on this floor so far this year is Nia Cloudin. Double clutches at the rim, couldn't finish. Spartans get another chance. The kick out, Hageman's three is good. Dee Dee Hageman, the freshman guard, she'll need to play a big role today. Hillman is such a great offensive rebounder that Michigan State cannot let a player like Emily Kaiser create a second chance opportunity. And Julia A. Rolf, so Matilda Eck and Dee Dee Hageman have done a great job stepping up and filling in the absence of upperclassmen. Farquhar was able to pick the pocket there. Now she's running in transition right at Dilk. Little sidestep and two more. That was pretty. Remember Michigan without Leah Brown right now as Cloudin's jumper is strong. Board hauled in though by Tyre Parks. The kick out. Hageman looking for a second three and got it. 12 4 start for the Spartans on the road. Lowest scoring quarter of the season came against Louisville for Michigan. They have now. She gets positioning early in the possession, but most importantly, she embraces contact, which you don't see as much in the women's game. It's tough to imagine where the Wolverines would be in this game without her. Diddy Hageman leads all Spartan scores. Nice cut there and a shovel. Pretty pass. Beautiful finish. Alicia Smith got it to go. We're in confidence right now. The last second pitch to her teammate. Ooh, <laughs> not looking like a first year. Hillman at the opposite end, looking like a senior. By the way, Hageman has eight points, leading all Spartan scores. Nia Cloudin, averaging 20 a game, working on Felia. Step back jumper, bucket. But that was really good defense by Layla Felia, despite the fact Cloudin scored. That was a good defense, great offense possession. Hillman is just practically unstoppable right now. Little post work at the opposite end. Isabel Berigel getting some minutes. One of the seniors that was honored before the game. Here's Jow's long kick to Maddie Nolan. Catch and shoot three. Around and down. Out inside a good second quarter, though. Nine points now. Nolan looking for another. Got it. And Michigan takes the lead. She is needing to be on the floor. Hill. Should say Maddie Nolan also has two fouls. She's on the floor right now. As <laughs> Hageman drops down the J. That was a tough shot. Getting out in transition, looking for easy opportunities because of the pace and trying to catch the defense off guard in transition. Michigan seventh turnover. Can the Spartans turn it into points? They can. Wolverine shot 41% in the opening half. Hillman turns, fires, and hits. And running the floor is a big, such a, I guess it's just something that doesn't show up in the stat sheet, but is a big, so important. Speaking of bigs, Emily Kaiser has been Kaz Hillman's co-pilot in the front court this season. She finds a bucket there. Pulling out the knowledge, I you love know it. What? My point being, just so much parity from top to bottom, because there's a reason why this league deserves to have at least eight teams in the Big Ten tournament, or NCAA tournament, rather. Expired there. Nothing doing though. Back comes Cloudin. And that entry feed off a, a foot into the hands of Layla Felia. However, other people on Michigan have stepped up to score in this game. Maddie Nolan had a nice string of getting involved from deep. She's on the floor right now. Layla Felia. A bucket getting freshman drops down the floater. Six point game. Now they try to capitalize on this end. Kaiser, pirouettes in the paint, and turns it into two. Their largest lead of the game. It's eight with eight minutes to go. Rousher on the screen, finds some room, and finishes. If they bring her back in, just never really got Eck rolling in this one. Still plenty of time to go, though. Michigan with their largest lead, trying to extend it. A big block Ooh. from Jayla James. and trying to clear out a little traffic here to take it to the rim herself and does just that. Martin's hanging around here. Feels like they need a bucket. Farquhar, the catch, runs into the traffic though. Hillman and Kaiser combining for some nice length down low to deter that shot. That's almost, we've become numb to it, which just goes to show you the star power that Hillman has. And so right at 29 last time out against Maryland. Spartans have a tough test to close out the regular season with Ohio State next up. Bearjow is a runway to the rim. Adds two more points on to this Michigan lead. 
Michigan has kept Dee Hageman a little quieter in the second half as well as she goes down. Shot clock winding down there, 90 seconds to play in regulation. Hageman had it stripped by Dilk.